Hello and welcome to Aplam and today we're going to be looking at the Lincoln Co uh, 03 I think it's like Cyan Racing but it's just called the 03 the basic model so let's get into it uh, this one's going to be a bit different I've got someone with me also in the same car as you can see there but they have tuned theirs they don't have the stock tune just so you can see the difference uh, as you see with this first race I didn't mute everyone like I normally do so someone you can hear um, and what you're wondering was with the start, well, Crispy, who's uh, with, with me in this, uh, it said that I could uh, still do the uh, manual with clutch, with factory paddles on my wheel, uh, which, once you get going, is fine, it does work, and the shifts are quicker. But uh, as you'll see as a theme of this video, I haven't quite got the starts right, so that's just unlucky for me that there was carnage and I really had nowhere to go. Um, so yeah, we're back down in 21st. I think Crispy at this point is somewhere in and around the top five. So I'm just going to get back into my groove now because we did spend quite a lot of time in practice on this one as well beforehand, about 15, 20 minutes maybe. Down here, yeah, looking about what about 125 uh, in the in the rain. I normally stop at the 100, so I just added like an extra 25 meters as we're in the rain. And you can see here, like, I'm just able to hold so much more pace than the people in front, mostly because you know they're all together. And, and now I'm in amongst it. Come up here again. We're still looking for the 100 normally, but I break a little early because I'm not 100% sure in the rain. And the final corner, just trying to line myself up to get a good drive down the start finish straight. Someone off there on the left, so we gain one position. Excuse me, my cat has just decided that now is the time to start clawing at my carpet. Right, so anyway, so we're looking about 150. So again, normally just after the 150 before, I want to go a bit deeper. Again, there's someone else off there on the left. Everyone's all over the place. I've got a nice drive out of here. See these two are side by side. The chicane is not normally a good place to go side by side, and there we go. So I get a much better drive out of here, but I sort of lose roughly where my braking point is. I forget which side I'm by, and so I I braked a little early. So he says sorry to the guy he, he murdered there, but uh, I'm sure the guy can't even see it. So doesn't appreciate it much. But anyway, we're going to jump forward a lap. Now, I am literally just going to suck up the slipstream, pay attention to my brake markers. There we go. Nicely done. And that's oh, me now. Lovely move. Lovely move. That was smooth. Smooth, as, as I said to myself at the time. So, you won't hear much of when me actually talking during the gameplay um, throughout these races in this video, just uh, occasionally. Uh, that was me ruining my chances at a top 10 finish, I felt. Just getting on the power a little too early, sliding out. Uh, that was an unintentional dive. Uh, I felt like it was the only way I was going to avoid him, that's why I let him go back through. But I'm still trying to work my way back up to, uh, you know, an S safety rating. I think after all this, I'm back at an A now, so I'm getting there. But I just knew I'd stay close to this guy, okay. and that was going to be 13th. So I'm going to gain up at least a place because of penalties. Oh, I gained two. I gained two because of penalties. So 12th. Oh, I, I, I finished where I started. <laughs> So yeah, moving on to our 
second race at Okone, we both decided this time round that we weren't going to qualify. He is actually behind me. I think it's a few cards, but again, I'm I'm still getting the stall at the start, and that's him, and he murders me. <laughs> so unintentional, of course, but um, I, I I'm not sure how I'm getting these like that's me with my clutch in. I'm just just it's just a nightmare trying to get it to go. So that's something I need to work on. I think I might just switch to manual in future for these episodes, but I will get some practice in on how to get these starts with the clutch um, and actually be able to get going without getting hit constantly. So as you see, Crispy waited for me. And we we're just talking like now that I'm well within the slipstream is like, is he going to just drive away from me? Because obviously he's got no rear wing with that tune, whereas I have a stock rear wing. But no, the slipstream is enough that I am actually going faster than him. Because uh, I, I hit 150 before he did. I don't think he'll actually hit 150. But this is where having a tune is a very, very clear difference. And you see, I'm 0.3 of a second, 3 tenths off him. Coming into here, a bit of aerial wash, maybe something a little wide there. But I've already lost, I've already doubled that distance through one turn. There it goes, there's another 3, 4 tenths. Through that turn, three tenths. Up here we're now five tenths from the last corner. It's already about one and one point one seconds further away than we were. And now it's just going up and up. Because I'm no longer in the slipstream. So we're gonna jump to when we finally start catching the rest of the field, or when I do, he's already breezed past them obviously because he's much, much quicker. Three left. So yeah, the, the, the Hyundai got the, the drive wrong. He breaks early. I probably break a little late because he caught me off guard with his early break. So he does, performs the old switcheroo, as Crofty would say. Now I've got the slipstream well within it. And it's just a matter of time, so he's gonna go defensive. There it is. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I've certainly got the overspeed. I will just take to the outside. Hit my brake marker. And continue on and yeah. He obviously missed his brakes a bit. I'm going to jump forward to lap 5. I think this is me having a little bit of a moment. Yep. Got a little bit on the curb, but I managed to keep my foot in it. And I do believe that was still my fastest lap of the race. But I'm going to jump to the end of this race. Because yeah, not much else happens. It is, you know, after the disaster of the, the start, it was a long road back. Chris, we managed to get up to 10th. Um, with regards to lap times, I think this was the biggest difference, which is like over two seconds. But anyway, let's get to our hot lap. And I realise I need to turn the volume down for this bit. You won't notice, but I do. <laughs> so let's get to the car. So, yeah, front wheel drive, front engines, two litre, turbocharged, in line four. So I've decided in, in future, unless any of that is different, I'm not going to bother saying it. Um, so it's 351 horsepower, which is 262 kilowatts. 312 pound foot of torque, which is 423 newton meters. And it weighs in at 1,244 kilograms, which is 2,743 pounds. So it's uh, on the lighter side and it's got one of the more, uh, the higher power as well. Um, with this car, in its stock tune, I do find the tail is a little happy. Uh, as you'll notice also with this lap, I've gone back to just doing it as manual as normal. I thought this that's the fairest comparison. Um, even if I could probably do a lap, quicker lap if I had the manual clutch, but... In the order of fairness, we'll stick with it until we go to revisit them all down, somewhere down the road. But yeah, it's very tail happy, I found. Um, the power obviously helps. Out of the cars so far, it has the second most power 
and it weighs less than the Astra and it has one horsepower more than it so it's obviously got the power to weight but like I said the tail is loves to come round tire wear doesn't seem to be too much of an issue with it it's just you it's a lot of struggle with the back end at times. Um, once it's, once you've tuned it, I found, because uh, I do do one race, which is the last race in the video, where I actually borrow Crispy's tune. Uh, I do need to make some alterations to it for myself, but uh, it, it worked well. Just uh, a few minor alterations, I felt that, you know, because we have very similar driving styles to so the tunes. It's only little minor things that I need to alter for it to suit myself. But again, you know, comfortable through here and we're well up on our fastest lap at the time so it looks like we may have a, a new champion on our hands so we're having it pop up here the focus is a 236.613 and yeah as you're about to see 236.136 so it obliterates it So this is, yeah, I say, new champion on our hands. Um, I feel like I do need to take the other cars out to try them, uh, just to see. Uh, so this one I did qualify for here at Road America. And this is just the short, like four corners, basically. And again, we stall at the start. So I actually had an all right qualifying. Crispy learned to press the start button to go through me <laughs> I eventually got going so I did lose some places I think I was seventh I think at the start so you know six places lost but I wasn't creamed like the last race so that's a win in my book but as you can see the difference in the shifts compared to that spa lap we just did so not using the clutch pedal and just you know still being able to do it with the paddles it's quicker probably would be quicker with the actual clutch pedal but I feel like I just need to practice with it and then with the starts especially <laughs> driving it I think is fine it's the starts so there's lovely straight line speed here on this uh, Civic hit my braking point obviously he wanted to go a bit faster, so that's fine. I mean, he held it around the outside, turned in on me there, I don't know why. But it is what it is. And then we're up behind this uh, Hyundai, Hyundai, whatever. Uh, see the Peugeot behind, got a great drive out of that final corner. So he's going to dart up to the inside there, which I was just about to cover off, but it was too late. I decided to keep in the slipstream. He went over and I'm like, yep, yeah, don't defend, no, 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 and then Braked a little early, and uh, I probably should have braked a little early myself. I will admit that that is my fault. But we're looking here, and you see where I use the. I always brake at the the three board, so I'm trying to see when he's applying his brakes here. And yeah, so it's a little early, but it's still my fault, and I'll accept that penalty. Considering it's my first penalty of these three races so far, I was actually kind of happy with that. <laughs> Uh, so coming out of turn two, that's it. me getting a better drive than that Civic once again. And then down the bottom of the hill, the Hyundai went into the wall on his own, so I've moved up another spot. What am I meant to do, you fucking bellet? Uh, so Crispy was not happy with something, and so... this is why I'm saving replays, because now I'll have to see what that is. <laughs> Let's do just that. So here them side by side coming down into that very corner. The other guy hit the wall. And yeah, they're coming together. Uh, as you'll see from here, I say once he hit the wall there, I don't really think he realizes like Crispy's up his inside. I don't know he should realize it. And once they come together, he sort of well, he's, you can see he's on the brakes. But yeah, he is turning right, so he ends up pit maneuvering Crispy. So here he, this is the guy here, and we'll see what happened to him. Why he was in the middle of the road? He thought he'd been spun out, but no, it looks like. This may be the reason for the incident is he had connection issues because I'm coming now and as soon as I pass him, disconnection. So I feel like 
that's another reason that accident possibly happened. It's just the other guy had a bad connection. Especially as uh, everything was ghosting and they were still touching and yeah, it just seemed like a bad connection. That was pretty much it for this race. It's just now a simple case of just doing this last lap and trying to obviously open up the gap to the guy behind. It also in the same car as myself, so there wasn't many of those around, but I think we saw this guy in another one of the races. It might have been the one we did after this, but we were in the asterisk for that. So that won't be in this video. <laughs> um, so just coming down to turn three. And yeah, I've come to realise well, I've, I've given up. Like He's going to beat me. It's just a case of making sure that the guy behind him can't knock me out of the top ten. So I feel like a top ten finish will be good. Considering how my race has gone. So on the run up to the line, and I think in the end we are comfortably in 10th place, and our lap times were just over 2 seconds off in this so one. literally just, just over 2 seconds at the time. There we go, as I said live <laughs> at the time. Uh, and we're going into the final race, so I have done the tune, and as you can see, Crispy is second on the grid, um, and I am third, I think it was only a couple of tenths difference in qualifying but as is the theme of this video it bogs down again and I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna get this game I managed to get it going much quicker on my own without having to be hit or something but I went from third to 11th so it really didn't go very well for me but hey -ho, let's just carry on we know we've got the pace on a lot of the guys ahead of us. Let's just try and work our way through the traffic. So we'll get past the Subaru here. And yeah, that was my mistake there. Uh, he was a lot slower than I was expecting because that corner ordinarily is just a lift and then coast around it until you get to the point where the throttle back on. But no, he was going very slow and I ended up hitting him, so it took me a while to catch up with the rest of the field. So here we are coming to the end of lap three, and here is that Subaru that I'd uh, overtaken just before hitting the MG in front. And we're coming on to the start-finish straight. I do believe I'm going to speed up the actual straight. There we go. getting down to the breaking point so he breaks very early for that I probably could have broke but yeah just forces me wide There's not really much I could do about that yeah things happen yeah, that could have, but yeah he's always breaking very early so it's how it's very easy to catch him his, his, his breaking zone is just so long I think that's how this happens because yeah he loses it a bit and I didn't intend to hit him what but you know sort of I'm gonna get a penalty for that aren't I? Yeah thought so. In fact it was only half a second I'm amazed. And then watch this guy's gonna T bone me here and wait for it. No he's just he's just gonna get himself DQ'd. Alright mate you carry on. And we say look at the top right. How has he not been DQ'd? And there comes his penalty and he's bothered to take the chicane and the yeah, 2.25 for the contact on the uh, other car. He must so have got a massive penalty though, surely. One more lap. I haven't noticed it whilst racing, but <laughs> I see it now. <laughs> How many points has he got? How many um, seconds has he got? Oh, 10.25. Yeah, he got a massive penalty there for doing that. He's driving like a twat now. He's trying to wipe out the MG in front of me. I don't feel bad. I'll be I'll honest. A little, oh, I didn't get one. Yeah, I put him in the wall and didn't get a penalty. Nice. Ah, <laughs> oh, Uberus. Yeah. Caught up with me. <laughs> so anyway, we come to the finish of the race, and yeah. Ultimately, I still was within his penalty, so didn't finish last. <laughs>
And Crispy got on the podium, so we will show him there in his uh, Deadpool liveried Lincoln coat. So anyway, on the car, like I said, it's it's very tail happy. Um, more so, I feel like trail braking I found very difficult. I'm, I mean, I mean, I'm only starting to learn it, so that's probably partly a skill issue, I'll admit. Um, but partly the car, I found it very difficult. Like when it was tuned, it felt much more easy to drive, and I feel like that's why I was carrying way more speed than the, the cars around me. Like the Subaru, isn't that supposed to be like the best handling car? he was slowing me down on course which I think may have been a skill issue on his part I don't know um, but <laughs> in fact after I bumped him a little bit he decided that he was just going to completely sod off the chicane I feel like he was going to like go he was hoping I'd be there to T-bone but I had taken that chicane a little slower than I ordinarily would I still don't think he would hit me I still think he was too fast but Whatever, uh, you know, whatever his plan was, um, he got a massive penalty for it, so hey-ho. Uh, but in this car, uh, I don't know how, how often I'll use it going forward. I did enjoy it, but um, I feel like with touring cars, I prefer the hatchbacks. You know, this is the, se the second of the saloons um, that, I've, that I've used, with the MG being the first. Um, and so far, I think touring car racing unless we're going back to the old super touring days but for current touring car racing I think hatch hatchbacks just suit it far better for me personally so that's probably what I'm going to be driving um, but yeah anyway that's going to wrap up for this one so if you enjoyed the video do consider hitting the like button if you really enjoyed the video do please consider subscribing otherwise thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time